Hey guys, coming to you from my treasure room. I got a new detector in the mail, the Simplex by Nota Macro. And so let's assemble this. Let's turn it on for the first time and let's take it out in the field and see what happens. So let's go. Hey guys, I'm very excited to partner up with MetalDetectingStuff.com. They're based out of the Woodlands, Texas. That's near Houston, Texas. And they called me up the other day and said they'd like to team up with me. And, uh, and so I know them personally. I bought my Knox 800 and many other detectors. They've donated to me at different events in the past. They're a great group, group of guys. And if you ever have a, a detector need or accessory need, give them a call. They carry all the main line of detectors. They carry all the different top accessories. And they really have a little bit of everything for everybody. So give them a call. And when you do, tell them that Preacher Digger, you saw this on Preacher Digger video, and, and, and you're going over there because of that. And uh, I appreciate that very much, and they would appreciate it very much. But they sent me this Nota Macro Simplex. I've never had one of these detectors. And, uh, and so you're doing, doing this with me for the very first time. We're going to put it together, and we're going to take it out to two yards today. And we're going to see uh, how simple the Simplex really is. And we're going to try it out for the first time, and uh, we'll just see what happens. So with, let's put this together, and let's see what it's all about. And with the magic of video, voila, we have it done already. And uh, it's a neat uh, for a, a kind of, I guess this would be a midline or a beginner's uh, type of detector. It really is uh, kind of got a beefy feel to it, but it's real light. I don't think it's only like a couple of pounds, but it's really robust. I like that. And this is what I really like about it for traveling. Check that out. You can uh, extend your uh, detector it telescopes back and forth and that'd be great to put in a luggage uh, one thing about this it's also waterproof and that's another selling factor for me because I do a lot of water detecting and so uh, I like it I turned the uh, the settings on and went through them real quick and they were simple to learn and I like the pairing of the headphones that came with it all I got to do is just turn them on and it comes right on the uh, detector now that we got this thing put together, let's just see how simple the Simplex really is. So let's turn the button on. Well, here's the buttons. You got an up button and a down button, a left button and a right button. You got your accept, reject button. You also have your, your main menu here. So let's just hold down the press, press down the down button. That's going to turn it on. And um, it boots up. It comes up right now in park one. I've got the sensitivity turned. This is your sensitivity here. This is going to be your uh, depth. This is going to be your ground mineralization. This is going to be your battery life. These are your different modes, which is field mode and park one, park two, beach mode, and all metal mode. These are your numbers up here associated with your, uh, your, your uh, targets in the ground. And down here is going to be all your different settings. So let's just put it in park one. That's probably what I'm going to hunt in is park one. And let's just kind of push through here. This is your settings. Uh, this is going to be your volume. Uh, I've got my volume turned all the way up. This is going to be your ground balance. And this is going to be your iron audio. You can bring it up to one, two, three bars right there. This is your accept, reject. You can go back and forth if you want to reject something, if you want to accept something. Uh, here's your button right here. And uh, let me silence my phone. That was nugget noggin. Um, and uh, we're going to keep on going through here. Uh, this is going to be your, uh, your frequency shift. This is F1, F2, F3. You'll need that if you're around other simplexes or maybe for uh, some other detectors. This is your wireless uh, signal. Uh, this is going to be your vibration. I really like this vibration. Uh, you can turn this thing on and you can feel the vibration through the handle. And that's really a cool feature. Uh, also, you have your, your lights. You can uh, set it different settings right there, your backlight. And then also on the back side of this housing, right, right in the back, is a flashlight. And it lights up the, the uh, coil, which is really cool at nighttime. Uh, so, but if you're going to flip through the modes, there's part two, there's beach. When you go to, to all metal, some of your settings down here change. You've got a threshold metal that's added in here when you're doing all metal mode. And, uh, and so if you want to go back to the main menu, you just hit this one right here. If you want to change the sensitivity, uh, you're just going to run down this uh, power button right here. And that's going to run your sensitivity back down. I'm going to run it down right now because of uh, being in the house around all this metal and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. Let's go back uh, to park one. We're just going to go right there, and that's where I'm going to hunt. That's, and, uh, 
And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. It's just like any other type of detector. And so let's take this now out in the field. And for the first time, let's just see what happens. Let's go do it. Let's get on location. Let's see what we can find. Let's go. All right, we're going to be hunting this morning. We're just going to leave it in park one. We're going to uh, run that sensitivity up. Oh, let's run it on up there right there. Try that out and uh, let's just get with it. Let's try this thing out. Very pretty house. It's got all of its uh, Thanksgiving uh, fall festival stuff up. And uh, so it's got a little yard in it, a little side yard. And uh, we'll see what's gonna be in here. I think this dates back to the 30s. I think this house was moved on location here in the 40s, but there was something here before then. Got a little spot in the back we can do as well, so let's get with it. Well, I've dug some trash. I've dug a couple of pennies. I've dug a clad dime. But my first good target with the Simplex is silver. Check this out. It was ringing up as an 85 on the Simplex, and there's a little bit of silver rim right there. Dirt's very dry here. Coins are coming out very good. And that's a rosy. I'll take a rosy. 1951 Rosie all right this house was moved here in the 40s so we should be able to dig a lot of Rosies and uh, Wheaties but we'll see let's keep on going well just about four feet away from that other one I got another good 85 signal and it's gonna be a Rosie 1957 1957 Rosie. They coming out of here good in this old sandy dirt. It's so dry here in Texas during this time of year. Just still in this one section in the front yard. I got those two uh, Rosies. I got some modern day pennies, nickel, dimes, just mainly coins is kind of what I'm really looking for. Really no relics so far, but I got another good high tone here and uh, got a good squeaker, I call it. Check that out. All right, this is not going to be a Rosie this time. It's going to be 1941 Mercury Dime. 41. So I'll take a 41. Wouldn't you guys take a 41? Check this out. It's up in the 90s there. Let's kind of live dig this one. Let's see what we got here. Let's kind of dig a, a wide plug. Could this be a silver quarter? I don't know. I'm not familiar with the numbers on this machine yet. So let's see. Could just be trash. It's right there. Ah, it's going to be a quarter. All right, this is going to be a clad quarter. I haven't learned the difference between a clad sound and a silver sound yet on this Nota. All right, let's keep on rolling. Got my first weedy. There's a lot of pennies in this yard, but they're all zincs and uh, memorials, but this is my first weedy. I figured I would be digging some if I'm digging those silvers, but it's not old, 1940s. That's probably, that's kind of what I figured in this yard I would be digging in the 40s and the 50s. Well, I got a little buddy back there letting me know that I'm not welcome in his yard. Anyway, I'm on this. This yard's very small. I just got this uh, this side yard here, uh, this little alleyway through the between the houses, and uh, just the front yard. And I found those three silvers in the front, and lots of pennies, lots of clad, and uh, got another high tone right here, and uh, looks like it's gonna be silver. 
Looks like it's going to be another another rosy. Let's see if we can get a date off of that. 1959. Yep. Well, it just was 1964. We're getting on up there. I'll take them though. Silver is silver, right? Got one Merc and three Rosies and a Weedy and a bunch of Clad and haven't dug much, uh, a lot of trash I dug. So let's get a picture. Let's keep on going. It's going to be a short hunt today. I thought I was going to have a better yard in that other one, but I didn't. Short hunt, but a good hunt. Anyway, all right. Came back in the front yard and uh, nothing in the back back there. Just a piece of trash and a, a penny. But got a 65 signal here on the Nota Mac, uh, on the Simplex. And uh, this is a good relic. Check that out. That's going to be a lead toy horse. I'm going to search around in here a little bit more. Maybe find some more toys. The leg's broken there, but this dates to the 30s at least, these lead toys. And so that's a nice little relic. I'll put that in my toy collection. Yeah. Let's set a trigger up right there. All right. I made it back home. Just a short hunt today. Uh, for a short hunt, it was a very, very small yard, not a lot to do, but what size of yard it was, I found some good stuff in uh, two hours of a hunt. And uh, plus trying to learn the, the simplex, you know, that's a different number system. When I go to the AT Pro, it's one number system. I go to my uh, Equinox, it's another number system. I go now to the simplex, it's another number system. And so you got to get used to that, and the tones are different, stuff like that. So it's, uh, you got to get a little used to it, you know. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I did find. All right, here's my trash. Lead, caps, copper stuff, tidbits, iron, all the stuff that you normally dig. I didn't dig everything, but I dug uh, just the good tones. But uh, I, I'm trying to learn those signals and that. But I did get an old lock. Got a toy car and uh, a lead toy horse. I like these uh, lead toys. Got one quarter, two dimes, one nickel. 10 pennies. I got one Weedy, uh, 1945, I think. Is that what that is? 48, maybe? I can't tell. We have 1948. And then we have uh, our dimes here 1951, 1957, 1959. Then we have a 1943 Mercury dime. So just within two hours, Digging four silvers and a weedy and a toy soldier, a toy horse. Uh, that's pretty good stuff. But anyway, uh, that is the treasures. Now, with my Simplex came my sponsor, MetalDetectingStuff.com. You can check them out. I'm going to be giving away this hat and this Simplex hat and some Metal Detecting Stuff stickers. And uh, we're going to make it up. We're going to put two stickers to this hat and two stickers to that hat. And so what we're going to do is, I'm going to ask you a trivia question, and I'll post it on the screen as I'm talking right now. And the first one to answer that trivia question correctly and comment is going to win uh, their choice. First one's going to win uh, their choice of the metal detecting stuff hat or the simplex hat and the stickers. So anyway, there is my trash, and there is my treasures. Like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can find in an old house with a new detector. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Well, I have to say I enjoyed my day today. It was a short hunt and uh, got some good news. Uh, MetalDetectingStuff.com, uh, they told me that this uh, simplex they sent me, I can keep, but they want to give one away, and I'm going to give that away to you. So all you have to do to be eligible to win this uh, great detector here, and this is the one you're going to get right here. It's just like mine, except it's going to be minus the headphones, okay? It's going to be about around a $300 value detector but we're going to give that away all you have to do is just give me a thumbs up on this video uh share this video if you don't mind and comment thank you 
MDS, metal detecting stuff. Thank you, MDS. If you if you can just do that, uh, that'll put you in there, and we'll go for one week, and we'll go till November the 15th at 1 p.m. I will put out a video prior to my regular video being launched out, and we will announce the winner. So just give me a thumbs up, comment, thank you, M, uh, metal detecting stuff, MDS, and then just share this video that other people can get on it as well. And then we'll announce the winner November 15th. And that's going to be for Anoka Macro Simplex Plus without the headphones. So I want to thank Metal Detecting Stuff for this great donation uh, to give me a, a, a detector that I can have, but also to give you one as well. So thanks for watching and good luck to all the people out there and good luck to the winner especially. God bless.